What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. ATO Car Collector. Today is Thursday, February 20th, 2014. I got a couple things in the mail, and the big story today, in addition to that, is the NBA trade deadline. So, I want to talk about that. First, I'll go over my mail, then we'll talk about the NBA trades. I made a couple trades. I got a couple leftover trades that were coming in and uh, purchased off eBay. So, the first thing I got was a trade from Sports Car Forum, and I traded... I picked up some good stuff. I got these two Pat and the Shed cards. Um, these I'm gonna I'm gonna use these for TTMs. And I also picked up a Grant Hill rookie card. And this nice rookie card of JD Reddick. So big ups to the trader for that. And for my eBay purchases, I got Anthony Bennett. Because I was looking for Anthony Bennett cards and I'm getting a bunch coming in, so big ups to the seller for that. And also got these rookie cards here. I'll show you here. Trey Burke. Callum. I'm a Callum. I say a Cannon. And uh, these are for sale for trade. Especially not this one, Carter Williams. But if I get another one, I'll trade it, but not this one. Mason Plumley. Solomon Hill. With tender pulled chicken, authentic enchilada sauce, and Fritos corn chips sauce. Jamal Franklin. Fritos chicken enchilada. Subway. And former University of Maryland player, Alex Lim. So big ups to them. Sell it for that. And last but not least, my favorite card I got today. This is Basketball Hall of Famer Bob Hubriggs. Uh, most people never heard him. I actually did not. I found about him. Though another guy on, on YouTube. He actually did a TTM with him. And he's like, yeah, Hall of Fame, Bob Hugh Briggs. And I try to keep up with as much basketball as possible, especially Hall of Famers. But I've never heard of the guy. I did some research on him. He's in the Hall of Fame. I did a TTM. Hopefully, he'll come back. He's good about doing TTM. And this was certified. I got this for 7 bucks ship, so I couldn't go wrong with that. Getting a certified autograph of Hall of Famer. So that's that. Now, regarding the NBA trade deadline, it was it was a few trades. There was a lot of like role players being traded around and trades for salary cap purposes and things of that nature. Not really gonna go into that. The one big blockbuster trade though was the Indiana Pacers. They picked up Evan Turner and they traded for Danny Granger. It's a good move for Indiana if Evan Turner um is okay being a sixth man and come off the bench because Lance Stevens is gonna start and hopefully this will motivate Lance Stevenson. I mean he's already motivated, but they will really just take him to a championship level. And also there's some insurance because Lance Stevens is going to demand a lot of money in the offseason. So if for some reason they can't resign, him, they got Evan Turner as a plan B. So that will work out. But I do feel bad for Danny Granger, though. He gave his blood, sweat, and tears for Indiana for almost 10 years. And right when they're in the Cups are going to a championship, he gets dumped to Philadelphia. I mean, nothing against the city of Philadelphia, but that team pretty much sucks right now. I mean, they have, they have some good pieces, but they're not going to do anything this year. So I feel bad for Danny Granger. So... It was like a other little trades too. Steve Blake got traded to the um, Golden State Warriors and like a couple little trades here. Now I'm sorry I don't have a trade list printed up, but it was just like role players. No major blockbuster trades today. Gasol didn't get traded. That's another thing I want to talk about. If I was the Lakers, um, so basically what they're gonna do is like Gasol walk for nothing. They were demanding a first round draft pick. No one was gonna give up a first round draft pick for a rental player, to, a 33 year old rental. I mean that's like the Miami Heat or. Or well, somebody that's pretty much all, all but guaranteed to go to the championship. Phoenix is there going to the playoffs, but it wouldn't have been worth giving them first rounder for a three month rental. So they did the right thing by not um, pulling the trigger on that deal. And the Lakers pretty much was going to let them walk, even though they could have got, uh, they probably could have got a second rounder and some salary cap relief, but I guess they didn't want to do that. So I guess we'll see how these trades pan out. I mean, there's, when the home stretch of NBA season is about t a little less than two months left in the playoffs are going to come. So we'll see. The contenders from the pretenders, and then uh, out of the playoffs and the draft and the all season. It's going to be a really exciting all season. So this is a good time to be an NBA fan. And also the NFL draft combine is coming up too. Baseball spring training, hockey playoffs, NASCAR, Daytona 500 starting this weekend. So you like? Oh, this is nobody my door. Oh, that's high upstairs. But if you like sports, that's the time for uh, be a sports fan. I gotta go. I gotta see who's at my door. Um, this is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, aka Till Car Collector. Like, comment, subscribe. Be blessed and I'm out of here.